Hello ZD and welcome back to Talented. So let's go play. So we did the warrior which has mastery 4 now. So let's just go, let's actually go to the archer first and then go back to wizard. I find the wizard is a bit harder to, uh, to get through. So wakes will contain an additional enemy. And we also get this, more loot that drops more often and more powerful bounties that activate more often. So what's this, crit chance up or increases attack range, no I take attack range all the time. Let's get quick fire, I think that's better. The other one is a bomber on, but... Oh wow we're so slow. I still have a decent range. Ah, uh, switch before I could actually fire. I need to use the ability to get through that. Because you just do not have the uh, attack speed. Radiance up. That is attack speed up. Combo collector. Yeah, that increases the attack speed. That's a nice one. You get a lot of range ups. Give me the mystery and not the attack speed. We're gonna need a lot of it. I also have almost no health. Compared to the warrior, this thing has. Uh, this uh, archer has no health at all. But I don't think I have health regeneration as well. I guessing that's specific to the warrior. It makes sense. A constant healing. Archer would actually be uh, kind of insane. Talent points. Let's get experience up. Experience up. There is. Yeah, there it is. 25 kills heals you. And I'm actually cap able of getting it. So there's also damage up, which I want. And a lot of attack speed. Actually, I think it got me, because my health went down. Yeah, if I can, I might want to get my range up. Because that's still kind of horrible. Got through it. a few range ups here. This one, this one. A lot of knockback. Say give me the attack speed first. What's this? Oh bonus attack damage for five seconds. Hmm. I don't think that's that useful. Give me attack speed. If I do projectiles every second attack, oh, that can be really useful. 
Help my beam of energy that throws the first enemy hit into a random piece of collected loot. That's different. Yeah, let's go towards this one. Probably take brutal bounty experience up. Should be able to reach a bit further now. With our attacks. Makes it a bit easier to kill those uh, fast enemies. Really nice we got the gumball early on. Let's see if we can trigger that a lot. Gonna make us way faster every round. It does reset every time. It just makes it way better. Go crit up. This one. That's too expensive, so let's get range up. Another experience up. What's this? Mystery talent. I'll probably get this, go down here, and try to get the mystery talent. Those are always better than the uh, than the, the common ones. Oh, that's why my damage went up like crazy. And yeah, now my ability actually saved me. All these will now appear. Six talent points. Let's get twin strike. Oh wait, I could also go there. Do I have enough? I can get less quiver. Then on the next one get the uh, Vortec Morphray. See what that one does. Oh yeah, now we have uh, So every second attack actually gives you a uh, double attack. So it gives you two arrows. I don't think I've seen that ability yet. Now we have a chance to get explosive arrows. So it's like a 1.5 damage up. Oh, the crawlies are the spiders, aren't they? Yeah, that makes it way easier. This one, then go down here, experience up, Kitchens. mystery talent, spark quiver, good attack have a 3% chance to fight another attack in the same direction, oh that's neat, there is a damage and a range up, famous here, I might actually go here, plus health, Attack speed and damage. That seems decent. I wonder how this works. Oh, that cooldown is horrifying. Remember how this works. You only have a certain amount of attacks on the. On the skill. For the archer. Oh, 
just give me a combo. So it looks like I actually got a decent amount of experience for it. Mystery talent, speed up, and uh, we need one more for range. So that's a dead end. But yeah, we can't see any of the other abilities yet. I'm gonna try to go up here. I don't think I've really seen an explosive bullet yet, or explosive uh, arrow. That's like massive crowd control. And the Archer has a lot of useful abilities. I do like that every character has like its own little quirk. So every character uh, plays completely different. Plays in a different way. Could use that. I kind of forgot to use the my abilities. That's bad. Actually get health up, crit, range. That's attack speed up, but after using an ability. There we go. Duplication hack. Whenever you loot drops, a second identical copy is created. Uh, I need to get there. Because there's hell of arrows. The next th uh, three attacks fire in all three uh, four directions. That's one of those. So the next one, take the experience, probably go this direction. Try to get that duplication hack. I wonder if that one just works on like every enemy. So even champions. Looks like even champions are uh, murdered immediately. I don't know if the value goes up because of it, but... That could be really useful. If you have like a really tanky enemy, just hit it once and get the loot out of it. Imagine if we get the duplication thing. Then we get two items out of it. Upgrade. What's this? Oh, that's the heal. Scented weapon is next. Oh, there's two of these. Wait. Can we get both? That seems. That feels strange. What a mint. I don't want the, the one that gives you another one of these points. Once in a while, or after a certain amount of kills. Oh, they're coming way faster. Is high enough. I can almost hit everyone in the uh, entire lane. It's 
see one kill without taking damage. Oh yeah. Enchanted, range up, experience up, range up, and now we can buy it. That's too expensive. Give me the mystery, experience up. I don't really see that being that. Well, we could use it because of this. Because that has a massive cooldown. But most of it has a massive cooldown. But that should speed it up. Yeah, these are the same. And I might want to get that so we get a bit more uh, health regeneration after a certain amount of kills. Oh, that's a special ability that doubles up the attack uh, amount. Close for comfort. And killed. So five talent points. Mission. Speed. Actually, go here. Get at least a bit of the damage up. Want me to get that uh, cooldown? Oh, no. Next fight. Speed up for now. Only like five attacks, so it's not that big of a jump. Oh, that ghost was actually not stunnable. I wonder if that also uh, doubles the peppermint then. That's like every item in duplicates. That ability. Actually, remove the other one. So you can't get two abilities of the same type. Go so here, range up. Or well, next one, take this and then the other range ups. We're really lacking on that. Why is it making fast? Actually, use the uh, attack every side. 
instead of the three. It's kind of bad. Yeah, it looks like, like the uh, glowing white ghosts are completely immune to knockback. I'm guessing all the, the champions have like special abilities, depending on color. Let's take this. What's this one? Another heal. Oh, D6. Change, knockback, speed. Giving me a lot of healing, so we get this one next, so we get 1 to 6 points. Other the rerolls abilities. Hope they get more than just one this time. Oh, if they're clumped together you can hit multiple of them. I'm guessing everything acts like uh, with hitboxes. So it's nice to know that it doesn't try to prevent you from hitting multiple with uh, an ability that can only hit one. Or should only be able to hit one. That doesn't have a race associated with it. That's nice. And rapid fire. And six talent points. Only common and the rest were rerolled. Now we're back to six points again. Let's get random. The bottom mint. Back speed. This one. Damage up. Already got that. There's a mystery talent on the next. We need. We only have five uh, rounds left. That's such a massive buff to get. Yeah, it duplicates all the items. Red ghosts. Yeah, we only have two charges on the uh, ray gun or whatever it's called. Morph gun. Yeah, we didn't really need an ability. 
Eight attempt points, hell yeah. What tech research? Gain 3% increased experience gain for each unique piece of collected loot. Wait, what? That's a big up. Oh, pissing. Gimme. Got it. What's this one? Barricade. Oh, that's uh, that one. Nope. I don't care. Four more turns to go, but we should not have piercing. Oh, yeah. That's a stupidly high damage up. Oh, we have the trees as an uh, opponent. Even those should not survive long enough, at least. I don't know they regenerate. We have for every collected loot. We get more XP. It's gonna be a lot. Especially with the duplication. And clear. Nine talent points. Wow. That's a lot. Oh yeah, I don't care for that. Um, don't want XP up. What's this? Ending a critical strike does the cooldown of a random ability by one second. Probably don't care. That's combo collector. More of these. Another Vortex. Upgrades. Critical strikes deal triple damage instead of double. Thing is, can I actually get there? That spark with it. Oh, there's a lot of these. Oh, brutal bounty. Every 25 enemies uh, killed is your 3 bonus damage. Uh, bonus attack damage by f for 5 seconds. That's not too bad. We're gonna kill a lot of them. Especially on the later difficulties. And the more gumball we have, the more experience we get. Wait, does that have piercing now? That thing is a bit broken. Feels way too powerful. Like 500 items with the archer. What's happening with her attack speed? My machine gun. I don't even know. Oh, wait, that's the items, isn't it? Well, I was not paying attention. Now, what's the experience counter? Yeah, again, 9 upgrades. Damage up. Give me the gumball collector because that's becoming stupid. Two more, so we should be able to at least get this. 
Tablet are doing triple damage. Well, I'm guessing it's Gumball? Oh yeah, it's the Gumballs. We get so many items. Get the duplication thing. Also because we've been upping the chance of getting items. The items gives you more experience, but items also give you more attack speed and cooldown. That's yeah, starting again. Oh, this is hilarious. The more we kill, the faster we can attack. Point nineteen on attack. There should be a limit at one point. Let's keep this open. Point fourteen. Attack damage went down. Doesn't matter. So we already have a pretty fast attack speed. Change up. That should be fine. So a lot more before the end. Don't think it can stop me. But we'll see. Oh, I actually got hit. Oh, we don't start out with the mag massive attack speed, so... Not that surprising. But the 0 0.02 to 0 0.03 increase in speed per gumball. Well, we get duplicates, so... Yep, that hit multiple. And then you end up with this. Oh, the final wave will be stupid. Like that element. Wow, that actually the all uh, direction thing activated once. It was like not even a second. Yeah, 0 0.07. It just said added 0 because of how low it was. So it does stop. Experience is useless at this point. Cross trap, nope. Any light like, damage ops? There's a crit. That's a regeneration. Knockback. Attack speed up, mystery turn out as health. Hit range. This energy collector. Well, we got energy collector at the end.
So that gives you random charges. Charge back. Yeah, now I need cooldown reduction. At yeah, the moment I hit something, it's gone. It really doesn't matter if we get hit once. That's mostly the bats that are fast enough to actually hit me. Point zero three, point zero two. Oh, I couldn't get it faster. Well, like a summer glass. So, a potion collector and energy collector. Got unlocked apparently. The energy collector at the start is gonna be useful. Well, yeah, that's it for this episode. So, thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next one.